Welcome back. Got no, sorry. Gotcha. Don't worry. We won't ever be doing that nonsense here. <laughs> Who's there? Connecting rod. That's good. Uh, so a few of you have asked recently for updates on the beater car. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, earlier this year or even towards the end of last year, I had a cheap little diesel rabbit. A good friend of mine, Ken, bought the car for his son Dylan, surprised him with it, which was awesome. Uh, if you want to see that, just somewhere up here will be a little button you can push to watch one of those videos. There's also some other videos of me trying to take the paint off of it, salvaging the paint that was underneath it. Because it was a music video car, and uh, I, I can't really include those clips here because the last time I did that, it demonetized the video. So I'll leave the link to that music video in the description or up here if you look back at the older videos of that car you'll see i was working towards salvaging the original paint because i was planning on keeping that car and then ken approached me and asked if i was willing to sell it so i threw a number at him he was cool with it and we we're both happy so fast forward to a couple months ago and ken decided they wanted to paint it just got out of work. We got a little bit of daylight left. We're gonna shoot up there, drop them off a pair of shirts. Now that the shirts are done, uh, speaking of which, they're live in the big cartel. Links here or down here or in the bio. Click any which one of them. Get yourself over to the store, pick up a shirt, especially if you didn't get in on the pre-orders because I only ordered so many extra. I only ordered so many extra. And uh, I think by the time this video is posted, we're going to be sold out of small to mediums. If not, we'll only have one or two of those left. So, all right, real quick, I just wanted to let you guys know uh, the inventory on the shirts is very limited. Um, I only have about six of each size, except for a small and medium. Uh, there's only one of those each. And then there's one 3XL and two 4XLs. But other than that, we only have about five or six of of large, extra large, 2XL. So jump on them if you want one. Uh, as soon as they're actually sold out, the website's gonna automatically put them out of stock. But if you definitely wanted one and you see that your size is sold out, leave a comment here because if there's enough interest, uh, I will put up another pre-sale together and we could order another batch of shirts. Just the minimum order is 50. So unless I could pre-sell another 30 of them, um, I just can't afford to front that many shirts and have them not sell. So, uh, I was just planning on getting a second batch made next spring anyways for the show season to bring around with me. Um, but like I said, if there's enough interest and I could pre-sale enough, uh, I could get another batch made and have them ready a month or two from now. So let me know below what you guys think. If you didn't get a chance to buy one, if it sold out before you got a chance to. Here's the shirt in the flesh. I'm really happy with how they came out. Go check it out. Grab one while they're still available. And to all of you who already did buy one, thank you very much. Uh, aside from the shirts, we also have uh, the Hit It With Your Purse stickers. Which if you buy a shirt, obviously I'm throwing a few of those in there. That's that. All right, back to the video. That's what all the cool kids are doing best way for you guys to help out the channel but uh yeah let's go see how the x movie car slash music video slash winter beater is doing <laughs> so you were surprised by it right you had no yeah, idea he was painting home. it i came home and i was like i had a blindfold on and then there was a yellow car <laughs> but yeah i mentioned it one time and then Wait, well, you mentioned you wanted yellow? Were yeah, you thinking about like, yellow? I was like, well, I was thinking, <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. yellow. Oh, man. So, that's when I Googled, uh, I looked up on YouTube the $50 paint job and watched a couple of them. What did it cost you? Um, it was under 100 bucks. Yeah. Even even with equipment. Like, I, I bought the, the $9 Harbor Freight gun and just Rust-Oleum paint, you know? And... Uh, yeah, it's a good color. It was, it was 
you know, super simple. Dude, I swear, I didn't realize it was this easy to, to lay paint. Had, had I known, it's all prep work, right? Yeah, had I known, I would have painted this thing. I, I would have painted all my cars. <laughs> it still needs to be buffed out, but I wanted to get it ready for Euro Summit. And I'm like, you know what? It's all one color. This is a lot. Yeah, better. honestly, though, it doesn't, like... I've seen Mako jobs. Yeah, yeah. Seven, eight, nine hundred dollar paint jobs look this. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, you gotta make you gotta make him do the buffing. <laughs> well, again, he got he got off lucky not doing any prep yeah, work. <laughs> the, uh, the goal was to get it yellow, so I was I was good with it, you know. And then everything else, you know, this was just spray painted, you know, nothing crazy. So how has it been treating you otherwise? Oh, we gotta we gotta work on it. Yeah. Yeah. One of the, one of the injectors is stuck. Ivan, myself, and uh, and Spitz, we're here the Friday night before Euro Summit, getting this thing running. And right. I saw you guys are doing like a mad dash to yeah, get it done. Yeah. And, and she's got a uh, an injector stuck, so I'm laying out a smoke screen the whole way. Yeah, but I mean, it's got four hundred something thousand miles yeah, on it, yeah. so <laughs> the so, guy claimed it was rebuilt, like who I got it from, but. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try just rebuilding the injectors and go from there. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty easy to do. <coughs> but uh, yeah, the pin sharpening is perfect. I had to do it. We were, you know, at Euro Summit, Chunky was there, so we had to. We this was the O2 the Lolo colors. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, that's you right. Want what colors? <laughs> and I'm like, this is the color that it you was have painted. to do it. <laughs> You have so, to. So it was one of those, like, he was scratching his head. I'm like, yeah, man, this is the color that this car was. So that's the color that the letter has got to be. Yeah, it's funny. To, I mean, that is spot on to the green that it was, that ugly, like, yeah, yeah. sea foam green. That's awesome. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's I like, it's unrecognizable, we though. We didn't have time to fix the lock, so. Yeah, that's all right. We happen to have an extra <laughs> magnet. <laughs> that's great. It's unrecognizable though. Yeah. How many coats did you lay down? Um, seven. It was like three, three primer and. All right, first coat of primer is done. Looking much better than what we started with. A couple of bugs, a run or two, but it's all one color so far so good gotta do a little more sanding tomorrow and uh we'll be ready for color Ooh, look at that reflection danny and bella put a lot of work into this along with me gotta give them props and now bella wants to dress stick woohoo they're for yellow. Yeah, so you got plenty to work with. But I mean, there was I didn't do a lot of body work. You know, you can still see some dents in there. But again, yeah, but how how crazy are you gonna go on a on a rabbit this old and tired? Yeah, that, that, that's what I was saying. It's like the the goal was one color. You know. Yep. And he, even on the front, the I have both fenders, but the front was crunched. So I'm like, do I pull these fenders off? And deal with who knows now, what. Now I have to try to match up the fenders with the rest of the body you know yeah like this this had a couple of dents here you know it, it was hit in the front right i was going to replace the hood and then i said you know what i'll just bundle yeah it was hit the, from both of us before both sides be, yeah before yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but this one that, apron, that remember, front apron was all remember when you had the the uh the, the hood release was that wire in the yeah. front <laughs> yeah. so so everything was kind of cocked but uh but yeah so this is so are you officially bit by the bug now though like are you always gonna have a rabbit you think oh uh, hopefully hopefully it'll be around yeah bit by the bug i like that i didn't know that well just it's an addiction that's what it is i mean your dad will tell you firsthand yeah and then bella bella while he was away at school bella was out working working on the car with me every day she came out she's like can i help you and i'm like i don't turn away help you know? <laughs> yeah. she was turning wrenches sanding she painted she painted the um the underside of the hood you know i pulled that insulation off yeah i didn't want to because i'm like the car's gonna get noisy pulled it off had a rat's nest underneath there yeah so, how much noisier can it get though yeah yeah well that's what i was saying it's like i'm painting it 
and this the, the insulation just looked like shit. Uh, that was a last minute thing, and I, I, so I degreased it, and then we just we did a quick spray job on it. So yeah, no, it's it's, it's <laughs> this looks really good now. Even the even the mirrors were just these are spray spray bombs, you know. But it looks great with the car. And you see my my fancy. I was looking at that before. Electrical tape. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice, guys. I always preach about saving. I always preach about doing stuff without going broke. Yeah, yeah. This is. And we, I mean, I have the trim. I have the chrome trim, but I'm like, I don't know if I want chrome on here right now. It looks good with all the, with the fresh black stuff yeah, on yeah. it now, like a bumblebee. So, so yeah, now hopefully that since he's home from school, we will get to spend a little time on it and uh, get her running right. Those injectors aren't too bad to rebuild. No, and I got I got a spare block, so I'm gonna pull those. And I got the injection pump from that one, so I saw that you can make a pop tester to test the injectors. Oh right, 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 right. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna try that route first, and then right now what I want to do is pull all eight injectors and find four good ones, and then go from there. Then if need be, we'll we'll uh, re rebuild them. Yeah, it's good. Otherwise, though, aside from that. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Again, it, because of that injector, to and from Bureau Summit, like we had a, a good stretch where I'm doing 65, 70 miles an hour, no problem. Then all of a sudden it would just lose power to like 40 miles an hour. And on the highway, it was like, oh, you know, you stay on the gas and it would just start slowing down and then eventually start picking up. And I was telling Ivan, I said, look, we just need to get there. <laughs> it's like, yeah. the, the goal is to drive into Euro Summit. And we did that. And then, we skipped the we skipped the cruise on Sunday because I didn't want to smoke everybody out. Not worth it. Not worth the risk. Yeah, it's like you know what? We came to the show. We had a good time. We met our we met up with you, everybody. Did you make it to the show? No. Oh we man. <clears throat> yeah, he was in school. Tragic. No madness. <laughs> no Euro Summit. Yeah, but next year I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. I think next next year's madness will be pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah. It'll be madness. Yeah. Let's hope. People are going to come strong. Oh, I'm going to get so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we'll be driving it too. If I don't get rid of this one and get another rabbit. You thinking about it? I want another rabbit. After driving this one, it's like, I want another rabbit. I think you need to finish this before this one, you well, yeah, right one, off. Me being lazy, I got to do the brakes. The car runs. It just doesn't stop. Yeah. So That's because it's running. Yeah. I've had it. You know, we, we drove it two years. And then the fuel pump went on it. He was actually learning how to drive stick in this one, and it stalled once too many, and it wouldn't it wouldn't turn back it's on. And it was like, on. all right, we're doing a swap. We're doing the ABA swap. But you know, like everything, life got in the way. Oh yeah. It's not hard to put a hitch on there. I have a hitch. Well, it's, it's got the that. the bumpers drilled. So yeah, what do you think drilled it? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeski? Yeah, because you know, I was. Matter of fact, I did that. I did that with my cabriolet. I towed a Jeski the same way. <laughs> I was. I had friends coming up to meet uh, and ride at our lake. They were driving from like two hours away, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Yeah, we can ride at my lake." And then went to start. I think it was the the sport truck didn't want to start, and lady was at work. So, you know, I put the hitch on her car. <laughs> So I'm sitting there in the driveway like, well, the sport truck's not going to start. So look around, I'm like, I'm going to drill a hole in this bumper and put a hitch in it. <laughs> That's so, oh yeah. Yeah, just put a, put a, put a ball I hitch on it. It's actually on both, both sides. Yeah, that the other side's not me. No, yeah, it's, yeah. it's drilled on both sides. Yeah, that other one ain't me, I can tell you that much. It's funny, when it I might have been. When I was... Yeah, the car looks great though. Yeah, we got great new, job. new tail lights. Let's just swap these guys, well, newer. Just swap these guys out because like this one is held together by tape yeah they all fall apart yeah. but she was fun to drive uh, this, it came out really good for a hundred dollar paint job yeah. and and this the, this final coat is, is grainy like this because i did it later in the day and it was cool like if i do it if you do it earlier when it's warm out it lays down nice and flat I told people it was Rust-Oleum. They thought it was the spray. I, I spray bombed it. I'm like, nah. So you buy it by the can and spray it. It's too funny what this car used to be. You should have seen it in the neighborhood when I pulled up. Like the guy had a bunch of. The guy I got the car from. <laughs> had other like movie cars. Like that was his thing to just have. Oh yeah. 
So the next time I do it, though, I'll buy the gallon. How, I, I did three quarts. <laughs> I did, I did well, three pints. I did three of these. And I'm like, it would have been easy just to buy Three the, pints cover a rabbit, people. Yeah. Not including primer. Yeah, when I pulled up in the uh, to buy this thing, mm -hmm. the guy had like a couple of nice old cars in the driveway. But then it was like a nicer neighborhood. And then this was there, like, with all the paint <laughs> on it sore. still. And, like, you'd see the neighbors are walking by, and he's, like, waving, and they're just, like, putting their heads down, like... They didn't like that one? It didn't fit the... Oh, they hated the car sitting there. You could just tell everybody, because it was still white, and it had all the paint left on it. The win the windows were painted it, yeah. black. All the windows were totally painted black. When we bought the car, he goes, here, it comes with a razor to scrape the windows out, so you can <laughs> so make you can it home. It's just so funny. You can see the neighbors like walking past, just like shaking their heads. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess what, the as, you, as you're walking, oh, as you're walking around, the dust is on the, you know, the, from all the sanding, you know. So I just lightly sprayed the ground before it was painted, and then laid down. I think each time I did it, I laid down two coats within like a half an hour. She lives on, people.